Here's the last thing I'm going to tell you. Faith is access. Faith is access. Worry is useless. Prayer is priceless. But faith is access. Come on, somebody. Paul said, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. How do you get to that peace? Faith. Faith. Faith gets you there. Faith is the currency of heaven. If you're going to transact with heaven, people know that you've got to have the currency that heaven accepts. The only currency that heaven accepts. It is called faith. Have you been on vacation recently to a place other than the Caribbean where they don't accept American money? More and more I'm seeing that now. Like, you know, you used to go everywhere you go, oh yeah, we take American dollars, no problem, we take from you, it's okay. <laughs> and uh, now it's like, no, no, we don't, uh, we don't uh, take this, uh, you have to change. <laughs> you know, come on, man, your little country, come on, you don't take American dollars, no, we cannot, do, we, we cannot accept it, you, you have to change. Okay, no problem. You're going to do business here? I don't care what you think of my country. You have to change and use my currency. Oh, that's great. I guess you feel good about yourself. I'm an American. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would never do that. And don't you ever do that. Don't you ever do that. People will hate you for that. Being an American means nothing now. <laughs> you better read the room. <laughs> Saying that might get, get you in trouble now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, but if there are countries that you go to that they will not, as, as powerful as you think your American dollars are, they will not accept it. You have to change their currency. Thereafter, you can do business anywhere and transact in anything, but it has to be with what? Their currency. It's the same thing with, with, the faith, with faith. Fear and worry is not the currency of heaven. If you're afraid and if you're worried about something, what you need to do is to do a currency exchange. You see, because we, 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 we think that we're going to sit there. Well, God sees me. He knows. He knows how worried I am. He knows I'm scared. Oh, God feels sorry for me. And God is saying, I don't feel sorry for you. You got the money. Exchange it. You got the currency. Exchange it. You want to get something from this, from your heavenly storehouse, you have to switch currencies and come to me with the one that I will accept. No, I don't do pity parties. I don't do pity me, pity poor me. Come on, somebody. I do, I do faith. I do, I know that I'm a child of God. I do, I know in whom I believe. Come on, somebody. That's what, I, that's what heaven does. You, that's currency. You can get something done with that. I know he loves me and he means me well. Oh, that'll get you something. God's got me covered, somebody. I'm under the blood. I'm, I'm, come on, I'm in, I'm in covenant. The secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. I'm one of them. That'll get you something. Because without faith... It is impossible to do business with heaven, to please God. For well, whoever will come close to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of them that seek him. Somebody say currency exchange. Some of you should hear me in the spirit today. I'm not trying to be cute. You have been worried and consumed, and God is telling you today, you have access to the currency that you need to get what you need from heaven. And it's not your pity party. It's not poor me. Come on, somebody. It's having faith and confidence in God. That's what faith gives you. It gives you access. 